add more space inside and around divs. The reason I ask that is, let's have a look here. If we take, if we're comparing this, this sort of, this, this page that we're trying to build with what we're actually building here, we see a couple, we're, we're getting closer. Layout wise, we're really close, but we're still not quite there yet. We've got extra spacing here, and there's extra spacing up here, and there's extra spacing down there, and there's even extra spacing in between here that we don't have around here. So how do we tweak that? Um, there's a number of different things that we need to do. We can look at um, margins, and we can also look at padding. And um, CSS uses what's called the box model. And what that means is that it adds, there's this, divs are, are essentially boxes, okay? Um, and when you define margins, to your boxes, what that what that is doing is adding space on the outside. It's put it's defining how far away the edge of the box is from the outside of your of the the browser window here. So think of that as being your div is a box, okay? The this dashed line is is the the edge or the border, okay? Um, and the border can be various widths as well too. It doesn't have to be one pixel. It could be as big as you want. Um, the margin area is the distance between the side here and the border, okay? And then the padding is the distance between the inside. It's, it's the distance in the inside. It's the distance between the border and wherever your text starts, okay? Let me show this to you. This makes a lot more sense when I actually show you a few examples. Let's start, first of all, by adding some margin space above here. We want to add some extra space between the top here and where this starts because right here you see there's actually a bit of distance here that we don't have right here so this is margin it's distance on the outside it's extra space on the outside of the div and so we have to change the margin for that and what we're going to do is we're actually going to change the margin on the container because everything's inside there and we really don't only have to change the the, the top margin so for that i'm going to say margin top and I'm going to add, I'm going to tr start by adding about 50 pixels and see what happens. Let's hit save and let's see what happens. I'm looking to add about that much space. Let's see how close I can get. That's pretty good. In fact, I think that's just about right. So there we go. We've added 50 pixels of margin space right there, of extra space right there using the margin top. Um, attribute. All right, so what's the next thing we can do? Um, I think now we need to look at inside this main section, we need to look at adding some space on the inside. Okay, and because it's on the inside, we call that padding. And then this, so it, this, this kind of gives me a sense of there's maybe about about 30 pixels between the, the edge right there and where the words start. Um, and in fact, there's also 30 pixels down here. Okay, and I'm guessing that there's some extra space there and some extra space on that side too. So let's see what happens. Let's actually go to Text Wrangler and I'm going to go for my, I'm not going to do this for container, I'm going to do it to main. Uh, the reason I'm doing it to main is because if I do it to container, in fact, look, I'm going to do it to container and you'll see what happens. I'm going to use the, uh, the padding attribute and I'm going to add 30 pixels of padding. And that's going to add it to everything, uh, to, to like it's going to add extra padding, 30 pixels on, on, on all sides, on the inside, the top, the bottom, the inside, and the, like the bottom, and the top, the bottom, the right, and the left. Let's hit, uh, did I save this? Let's hit save. And now let's hit reload. And see what happened? It added the padding, but it's added the padding to the, to the inside of the container. And that's not actually the effect we wanted, right? We actually wanted to add the padding to the inside of this red thing. So that tells us that this isn't the right place for that padding attribute. We want to add it to the main ID right here because the padding we want to add is actually in the, the red section right there. So let me start by just, I'm going to delete this for a second. Okay, let's hit save. Let's go here and reload so we're back to normal. Now let's add this, this padding, this 30 pixels of padding at the top, bottom, left, and right. Let's hit save. And we expect there to be some extra padding up here, some extra padding right here, some extra padding at the bottom, and some extra padding right there. Let's hit reload and see if that's what happens. That's exactly what happened. All right, pretty good. We are getting really close to what we wanted. That's very exciting. Okay, um, what else can we do? How about the footer? The footer's not quite right either, right? There's actually some extra, this is, you know, these images are butted up right up against that, that main div right there, and we don't want it that close. We actually want a little bit of padding there as well too, don't we? So let's go ahead and add some padding to the footer. 
that's the same thing, padding. And this case, I'm going to just add 15 pixels. Okay, I don't think it's as much as the uh, as up there. So let's let's try that out and see what happens. I'm going to hit reload. There we go. That's starting to look nice. Um, here's a little trick. You know, you can also apply margin to images as well. It doesn't have to be to divs. And the reason I point this out is in this case, do you see how close together these images are? That looks fine, but if we're trying to get really close, if we want to get really, really similar to what this is, you'll actually notice that these are actually spaced apart just a wee bit. Okay, see that? Let's, I'm, I'll switch over and you can compare. See how they're closer there and they're further apart here? It's a very small tweak, um, and it, it doesn't really matter, except that I want to make sure that you know how to do it. Let's go to Text Wrangler, and this is something where I'm going to show you a cool trick. What I'm going to do is, I, what if I, I want to apply this margin, I want to add five pixels of margin to my images, but I only want to apply it to the images that are inside the footer. What I can do is I can actually be specific. I can say, apply this uh, like I can actually apply something to the images, but that are only inside the footer by doing it this way. I can say, okay, um, inside the footer ID, anytime you see an image, I want you to change the style this way. Isn't that cool? Okay, do you understand what's happening here? This image is just, this is just a normal um, HTML a selector, okay, we, we've, we haven't seen this before, but it works the exact same way as all these HTML selectors up here. But the only thing is, is that we're being specific, we're saying, but only the images that are located inside the ID footer. That's kind of cool, eh? All right, so what we want to do is we want to change the margin for this, and we want to just add about five pixels. It's just, it's not a lot, but it should be enough. And that's going to be five pixels on all sides. Whenever, if I don't specify margin top or margin bottom or margin left or margin right, if I just say margin, then that's going to apply it to everything. It's sort of a short form. And when you want to apply the same amount to everything, you don't have to bother writing margin top, margin bottom or anything. You can just type margin. Same thing with padding. Okay. Um, so let's hit save. And I should see, I'm expecting that if once I hit reload, that these will all get pushed out. They'll all kind of space out a little bit more. They'll add five pixels of extra margin space on the outside of each one of these. And let's see if that's what happens. There you go. See how they spread out a little bit? That looks very similar to that, doesn't it? All right. That's pretty cool. Um, last but not least, um, what about, what about, what about... Um, actually, you know what? Let's just leave it at that for now. Does that sound good? Yeah, because there's some cool stuff I want to show you in the next screencast. Okay, I hope that that's been helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.